Good morning, Teach Better family. We are waking up. It's a Monday. Welcome I thought to for the- sure you were going to sing. I thought you were singing, and then you didn't. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Teach Better Today a morning show, where the Teach Better team gets to join you live every single morning, Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern, streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and LinkedIn. And also, and don't worry, you did not hit the 2x. That was just Ray speaking really fast right there. Also, the Teach Better Talk. I'm loving this intro, by the way. Episode. What? I'm loving this, like this, this intro right here. With if you remove me button in, like you're somewhat singing, but not really, and then really fast talk. And then I just sometimes our intro sounds like it's pre-recorded, and y'all, it it ain't. This is us. Like this is us every single stinking day. Good morning, Teach Better team. Welcome to the Teach Better Today morning show. If you listen on the podcast, you know it, it sounds pre-recorded. It ain't. We are here. It ain't. Jeff Gargas in the house. My name is Ray Ann Hewart. And <laughs> I have Jeffrey Raymond Gargas with us. It's okay. Monday. And uh, let's get into the fun. Here we go. Good morning. Still drumming. I was drumming. I what? have no skill to drum, but I'm great at like the air drum. Like I, 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 it. I really enjoy. It. So like, so you all know, like when you're seeing that commercial, like there's still a back, like the back stage that Ray and I can still see each other kind of in the back. Like, it's smaller, but like, I was just like kind of bouncing like this along to the music. Like I always do. And I looked up and Ray's like this. and it was great. Just this great is- to know we're, we're both there. This is how we keep ourselves entertained. Like the music on the show, I is really not for any of you. It's for us. It's... <laughs> uh, Love it. yeah. yeah. Hey Jeff, happy Monday. Happy Monday. It's a good um, Monday. Start Mondays... a month, a new month, a new week, a new month. Hold on it. Hold on. It's been a new month for like five days. Don't confuse people. Well, yeah, but like the first show of like today's the first Monday of this month. So Friday and Thursday doesn't count? That was not a Monday, believe it oh. or not. Those were Thursdays and Fridays. Okay. And this is the first Monday of the month. So it's like the first Monday of the month getting it started. This is like Thursdays most- and Fridays don't count as days. <laughs> this is like the most exciting experience ever. <laughs> uh, happy Monday, friends. My Mondays are, well, obviously we're here with you, but then it's just like full of meetings. Yeah, like my that- Mondays, yeah. Mondays are just like meetings galore unless I'm oh, internal meetings too. Yeah. Internal meetings. Unless I'm yeah. at a, a school district, which I'm not today, obviously I'm here with all of you. Um, but unless I'm working with like a school district, Mondays are reserved for meetings and meetings sound fun sometimes, but I don't want to go to meetings today. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> well, more, let's just cancel all the meetings then. Are you okay with that? Done. Canceled. Oh my Canceled. God. Canceled. Do you know that feeling? You don't, but like people listening well, you literally don't know the feeling, but you know the feeling when you have a full day of teaching and then your plan and your lunch and your team time, if you have it, also have meetings and you're like, oh my God, kill me. Today's going to stink. And then a meeting gets canceled. <laughs> and you you're get like, that time back. Oh my gosh. You're like, oh my God. my It's like, I don't even know to, what to do with my life. Like the, the heavens have opened. <laughs> Yeah. That's how I feel every time I see my face. Someone else is on <laughs> the live stream with you. Hey, I've been doing a lot of live streams with those we, we've a lot. We've had a lot of really awesome people doing live streams. Yeah, we have and, literally had a guest yes. almost every show Tuesday through Thursday since yes. the new year. Since the new year. Although I was just like on it like just the other day. So like that's a lot of Jeff right now. Yeah, but Katie's back. Like, can't you just be sure Katie is back, which we some I, I can't remember what was it last week or we I don't know what it was we talked about, but we talked about like when once Katie got back, like potentially like you and I were just gonna like fade into the 
dark and like her and Josh were just going to always be on. Yeah, but like, she, I know she it's only been like a couple days that she's been back, but like, I think it's time already. Okay. This will be our last show. We're done. You will never see Ray and I until. Well, can I keep interviewing people? Cause I like talking to shop with other educators. Maybe March 2nd. March 2nd, because we're doing our 12 hour live. Oh yeah. Yes. So you will see us then. Wait, I'm going to keep doing shows, though, with interviewees because I really That's like okay. You can do that. That's fine. But They're then, much cooler than me anyway, so it's fine. Josh and Katie can do all the Mondays and Fridays if they want. I'm I'm game. I'm is game. There, is there, I don't know what you had planned for today, so I'm going to derail us already. Is there someone who you wish would come on and allow you to interview them on our morning show that we have not had yet and is not scheduled and maybe isn't even a possibility? Are we talking educators? I'm talking people. Anyone. Anyone. Okay. So do you remember, Jeff? And I, okay. Do you remember when we were starting Teach Better Talk podcast 20, whatever that was, 17? 18. 18. And you told me, we didn't even have like a concept for the show. You were like, you need to make a dream list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. I honestly would love to revisit it because I think I have interviewed every oh single God. person on that dream list. Really? At least once. If not twice. Did we put some like big time famous people on that list too or no? Did we keep it specific I, to the industry? I think that list originally was like educators that we never felt like we could make contact with. Who was on that list? I know LaVon Roth was on that list. Yeah, LaVon Roth. Oh my God. She's like my god. And we have um, Dave Burgess was on there. Yes, I don't. Um, I'm not sure who that. I still have met. I don't know who that is. Stop it. He published our book. Um, hey, Kim Bearden was Hi, on Dave. there. Kim Bearden, Kim, I've interviewed like Kim's two or great. three times in my life now. She's so. She's such a nice person. She's amazing. Not to brag, but like it's still the coolest thing in the planet that I have her cell phone in my phone. <laughs> it's funny. You know. Kim you know and I haven't moment? had the heart to tell Ray that it's actually not Kim's number. It's just some person. <laughs> okay. I, joke on her. I still, Jeff, this is going to, like, I'm getting choked up. I'm going to start crying in a second talking about this. But I was just going through my phone deleting photos. And I still have the photo that Kim sent of the Team Jeff shirt she's wearing. <laughs> and I'm like, Kim, I She am does your, have a Team Jeff shirt. I am your number one fan. Like, I pray to you every morning. You are, like, the world. And she's Team Jeff. Like, it still kills me. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to control the back end of the swag store. Here's what I'm saying. My, to answer your question, I have a few authors that are not okay. specifically educational authors that okay. you know, that I would love to have on. And I also realize that one educator that comes to mind that I haven't interviewed on the show, but I've talked to a few times is Todd Whitaker. I really think he would be great he on the would show. Be great. Yeah, he'd be great to have on a show. But it also would be really fun to create like a dream team list again. Like maybe we should do that again. We should. I'll put it on my to-do list that or all of you in the comments too. Like, yeah, that's what you... I want to know is who who do you want to see on this? Yeah. Like, no names to namey. Well, and that's the best part of the show, in my opinion. I love that I know that we get to interview anyone here on the show. Like, mm -hmm. whether they are not like globally known and recognized, or somebody. This is the first time they've ever done a live stream, and like, they've never yeah they've yeah. never done any sort of live stream or anything like the more the merrier. So yeah. yeah, I would love that. Cause I'm, I mean, I think that's the coolest part of our teach better community is that everyone has something to share. So, yeah. but I will say I'm reading a new book called the daily laws. Have you read it? No. I just assume you've read everything. Who's that? Okay. I don't know who wrote it. Can you Google it? It's called the daily laws. The Daily Laws? Yes. And here's how the book is structured. So every single day throughout the year, it gives you something to read. And it's less than 30 seconds. Robert Green. It. Robert Green. Good. That sounds good. Um, I took the, like, you know how the books have, like, the dust cover? I took that off and threw it away because those drive me nuts. Um, anyway, it's like a checkered blue and white and black book. Whatever. Anyway, what it is, it's kind of like a... 
I mean, it's like a daily affirmation, but essentially you read it. It gives you a small piece of information. Okay. Essentially, it, it gives you a, a summary at the very end that says the daily law for today is. And, gotcha. okay. and it's supposed to be less than 30 seconds to read. And it's every day of the year. I was going to say it's a full, a full year. Full is year. that like, that's it? That's the entire, like, there's no. That's the entire book. Nice. That sounds like a good book for me. Easy to read. It's okay. I, you guys know I'm not a reader. I'm really not. This is keeps my attention. It's super short. Um, and he doesn't just write from his perspective. Every single one I've read so far pulls in different psychologists, professional athletes. Like essentially every day is like, here's a quick story and here's the takeaway. So therefore this is the law. And the first one, this is January 1st. The first law is that mastery begins inward. And I loved that. Like that yeah, so was it's, so it's so it is just a little so it looks like it's a quote, then just a like a like a paragraph and then it, it's some of them yeah. are a little longer than others, but they're they're mastery a page is a map. process of discovering your calling is the starting point. Yes. And it evolves throughout the year intentionally. So like the first few days are really about like finding your inner strength. Now it's transitioning into like how do you use that inner strength to make an impact? And then obviously I'm only as far as February 5th, so I'm not that far. But that's cool. That just came out too, just back in September. Super easy to read. Um so we need to have we need to away. have Robert Green on. Oh my god, I would love it. That would be super cool. Although I'd be really intimidated. He would scare the Oh, he's the one he wrote that's right. He wrote 48 Laws of Power, Art of Seduction, Studies of War. So he's done quite a few books yeah. that are pretty bestseller i'm reading one by someone called annie duke annie duke is a former poker champion Ooh. and the book is called uh thinking and bets making decisions when you don't have all the facts Ooh. i'm actually doing it as a, it's a book study and a mastermind that i'm a part of and it's it's pretty cool i'd love to have her on just to see if we could f get through a poker phase like i would like have her lie to us i know that has nothing to do with it but i like, i'd have her lie to us the entire time and we'd have to figure it out. Like we do like two truths and a lie the whole show. But uh, yeah, a really interesting. She does. She she now works with company like she's a consultant on making decisions. Literally, that's what she does now because she knows how to like that's literally poker. It's like you don't have all the facts. You only have the what you can see and then what you can assess. And it's really interesting. But think it's, about I'm how early well, on it and on it. But anyway, think about how well that connects with educators, though. We I are know, constantly. Yeah. In the classroom, trying to make yeah. decisions and in a moment's notice with almost little to no information, and we're making mm -hmm. the best decision possible. I think that's a great guess. Yeah, sorry, didn't mean to take us off because we were talking about who you were going to have on a show. So we're going to invite, uh, what was his name? Robert Green. Yeah, and yours. That's good. We can invite Andy Duke. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, and then everyone else that you guys like just. Yes, yeah, so and everyone sense. that you put in there. So. Hey. If the, whether they're a big name or a name that we may, may not be familiar with, if you have any sort of contact information for them or context as to where they live, how we can get in contact with them, like put that in the comments or direct message Jeff and I. I love, and I love it. If everyone, if like, if I can just lay down one rule, like stop, just stop, please asking us to have Joshua Stamper on the show. Like <laughs> he's gonna be on here. Like I know he's like everyone's like choice, but come like. It's enough already. It's getting. I want. I want Brad Hughes. <laughs> Brad Hughes is okay. still my favorite human on the planet. Brad Hughes is. He's a good dude. Uh, <gasps> all should, right. Wait. You know who has not been on in ages and is actually like the most stellar educator that we never highlight because she works for our team, but like not as much in the education as she should. Sound like a, a lot of people. Sarah Jesse. Oh, we should totally have Sarah Jesse on. Sarah Jesse is hysterical. For those of you who have taken her course in our academy, she did a course with Katie Miglin, but she's like dry, sarcastic humor. She's a seventh grade ELA teacher. She's baller. Yeah. You know what also would be fun? We should have Rachel on just because I know she wouldn't want to. Our director of marketing would literally hate to be on the show. It would be her worst nightmare. We should tell, we should tell her that we're having a meeting and then it just be live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this? If we get enough green hearts in the comments, I will trick Rachel Ooh, on the okay. show. Oh, I but, like it. But let's be clear. Rachel might quit if we require this from her. <laughs> so you better make it worth it because she's like, I, literally, I love you, Rachel, but this is worth the risk right now. This is worth it's... the risk. We'll be right back. We're going to be back with our team talk. <laughs>
welcome back to the Teach Better Today morning show. We are having a ball. Show started a little wacky. <laughs> Both like this. <laughs> I was drumming, so I was like, "Hello, everyone." I was, I was like jamming on my on my on my leg, like my leg drums here. Yeah. We shouldn't. Anyway. We shouldn't be still recording, but we are. <sighs> um, guys, we have a few listener questions that are super similar that Jeff and I are going to tackle, and then we're going to move on with our day and wish you an incredible Monday ahead. Jeff, these two listener questions both have to do with Teach Better. Um, so I thought it would be okay. cool for us to answer them. I just want to preface, we did like a business episode on, what was that, Friday? Friday? Um, I don't want you to approach this as business because I don't think that the people who asked this asked it in like a businessy okay. way. But it feels similar. I just want us to make sure we're keeping it for our teachers to be successful. Gotcha. Cool. So there's Good. two, two very similar, but I'm going to, they're kind of phrased differently. We might lead us down different paths. First one is, Literally a question that says, how does Teach Better approach professional development? So I don't know that we talk about that very often. I always say that our Teach Better team kind of has two different pillars we work with. One is we provide professional learning opportunities for educators virtually and in person. Our team travels all around the U.S. and Canada and works with schools and everything from like keynotes to workshops. We'll get into that question. And then obviously here, we foster a global community of educators. So um, there's a lot that we are able to do. I think it's important for us to highlight how our team does professional learning, professional development, in case anyone here wants to take advantage this year to go explore bringing the Teach Better team into their school. Strategically personalized and actionable. That's how I'll say it. W would you care to elaborate nope. this is a show where... This, you know, like usually we have conversations. Our, our approach, and, and you tell me if you agree with that, like, like our approach to professional development is we are strategic in the sense of how we develop our workshops and talks and everything, but also in the starting points and goals that our partner schools and districts have by having conversations with leadership team and teachers to figure out strategically what makes the most sense to approach and we personalize it based on their specific needs, their specific challenges, so on and so forth. And it's actionable in the sense this is you, I think would kill us if it ever wasn't in the sense of where we don't believe in just fluff. There's gotta be actionable items that you can take away from regardless of whatever, whether it's a keynote or a one day workshop or a five year plan. Uh, it's all around how do we take action to get to the next step based on, their needs. Do you guys see how like Jeff's demeanor changes when I ask him a question? He gets into like his business mode and fixes his tie and he's like, let me throw out some jargon. I specifically told you to chill and you were like, let well, me answer this I, as if I'm well, in but a I think that's, interview. I still think that's, I, I am chill, but that's how we approach it, isn't it? I mean, I wanted to be. Yeah, it's true. Guys, I'm going to say it in a dumbed down way. <laughs> what did you um, want me to say? <laughs> I, we, per we approach, teach them stuff to do in classrooms. No, but like we like do instructional paper? work. So if you're an educator and you're doing any sort of professional development with us, you're going to actually be in immersed in an experience where we're going to create stuff for your classroom so that you can literally take it into your learning space within the next few days, next few weeks, test it out and let us know how it goes. And then we're going to follow up with you to answer any hurdles that you had. So I, that's like, that's words, my favorite part. Of what actionable. we do. Right. Actionable. Sure. But that sounds really vague. Vague. It was. Yeah. I believe so I that the best part of how we do professional development is that we are there to actually get to know you as people, actually mm -hmm. create things that you can do in your classroom with your students. And then we're there to give you feedback and reflect with you as you go through the process. It's super fun. Sounds like it's personalized and very strategic and actionable. <laughs> Yeah, I, did that, Jeff. You did it. I want to be, <laughs> be clear though though you literally said exactly what i said but you did it in more detail and i th i think that's awesome that's a good thing like i don't know if you I, meant to, if you did that on purpose or not but like you described what i said i said vague words you said words that made it less vague good, uh, team. good team you and me question number two <laughs> and then we're moving on because clearly this has been the worst episode ever um, what types of resources can educators find at teachbetter.com? Oh, geez. Well, Why should we go back hard, and forth? Jeff? Uh, let's go back and forth. I'll say one, then you say one. Ooh, ooh, uh, like you can find blog posts, podcasts, 
in abundance. <laughs> yeah. Like we have uh, a podcast network of over 40 plus podcast shows and each put out episodes weekly or bi-weekly. So like never ending podcasts. Um, videos both recorded and live streamed masterminds for educators that have things in common and want to discuss topics. Uh, a community for edu creators, educators that create something out of their classroom or district. Which Free is... and full courses for educators to get downloads and learn about a new skill, small or large. Um, downloads like PDF, like books, uh, eBooks and guides and such. An opportunity to go on a cruise this summer because that is on the website you can go on a cruise with us this summer to Cozumel uh, 12 hours of free professional development on March 2nd educational books that we either have written as a team or endorsed because the educators that wrote them are baller nice um, This is I don't know if this falls into there but it's the only one I can think of still and that is swag <laughs> what? What? I'm trying to think. Did we we covered everything else though, didn't we? We have our ambassador community that yeah, if you well you oh that's true our ambassador community yeah but you okay. so we have a number of different communities like the ambassadors like the grid cohort that like are but, working yep, on yep. working on skills or doing something special that were that are application focused yeah we also have swag we you could also get our free Facebook group and access to all of our social yes. media channels yep. Oh, 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 you can read bios on members of the team that you don't know or want to know more. Uh, we also have a speakers network of like oh, awesome geez. educational speakers that, that you can connect with via the team in either book or just get to know. Is that everything? I think that might be everything. We covered a lot. That's a lot. That's, I hope that answers. I think that, I, that was a fun way of doing ooh, that though too. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh. oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, uh, you. We the new one recently was that we have our professional development 360 plan, which I know you said download, but that 360 plan That's is a little like different. Yeah. Super robust. Yes, there are downloads in it, but it's like robust to look at an educational ecosystem supported by the Teach Better team. Yes. And we also have newsletters. So we have a oh. weekly newsletter that goes out from, uh, it's a note from Ray and the team every week that goes out with a variety of different things. And we also have a weekly newsletter for that educator side that comes out from me and the team and touches on that. Okay. Did you say um, the so live shows that? Yeah, we, we said do? videos and live. I said videos recorded in live. Okay. Um, we said podcasts. I feel like that covers somebody in the comments is going to be like, let you us guys know. Are stupid. Yeah. You forgot my favorite thing. <laughs> we forgot something. Yes. Don't tell us what we forgot. Yeah. Let us and, know. Right? And, or tell us what your favorite thing is. Or well, what we should thing, do that we don't do, that we should offer, that we don't offer. Their favorite thing is obviously tuning into the Teach Better Today morning show where the Clearly. Teach Better team gets to join you live every single morning, Monday through Friday Today, at 7 a.m. Eastern. Definitely an example of why. <laughs> Guys, we have to go. This is awful. This has we maybe should. been the worst and I not have not. This was a good episode. Stop. It was? You, you were a little rough around the edges, but all in all, not bad. Not bad, Ray. It no, was okay. I came in dancing. I ain't rough around the edges. <laughs> all right, friends. We will see you later. Have a wonderful Monday. We hope it's just a little goofy and nutty because we care about you. <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Bye, friends. Hey, Teach Better community. Thank you so much for joining the Teach Better Today morning show every single weekday at 7 a.m. Eastern. We have so many resources for you outside of this live stream at teachbetter.com, including blogs, podcasts, and professional development that will bring our team to your school. Wherever you are listening from this morning, please make sure you are sharing and celebrating the incredible educators in this world. And hey, if you are listening over on a podcast to Teach Better Talk, we would love a five-star review. <laughs> the comments are always so entertaining. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Okay.